Hey everybody, welcome back to the site, High Country Overland. So today we're finally going to get to do one of the quintessential videos for an overland site, and that's the rig walkthrough. We're going to do the exterior now. Hopefully I'll get to post an interior as soon as well. All right, let's get right to it. All right, to start out, I've got a 2019 Toyota Tacoma off-road. It's the double cab short bed. Most of these rig walkthroughs start off with the suspension and the tire upgrades. Well, I don't have any of those, not yet. I got this in January of 2019. I made a bunch of modifications, add a lot of stuff to the truck, but I haven't done the suspension yet or upgraded the wheels or tires. Um, that's probably gonna come next year. Definitely need a suspension upgrade because of all the stuff I'm carrying, and when I go on trips with the kids and my wife, we definitely, it seems like we max out the carrying capacity of the Bilstein shocks. Uh, a lot more bottoming out. Sometimes, sometimes it can be sort of a rough ride and sways a little bit more on the road. All right, well, let's start with the armor. Up front, got the body armor, Highline front bumper, solid steel powder coated. I installed that myself. Pretty much everything I've installed myself. Uh, you do have to cut part of the OEM front bumper. You gotta cut this part all the way around. This has to, this part has to be shorter in order to fit the bumper. But they provide this black plastic little or rubber piece right here in order to make it look more a little more seamless and clean. It was a little, I was a little nervous cutting on it, but did it. I think it looks good. In there, I got a X-Bull 10,000 pound winch, uh, which I've never used. This is the X-Bull fairhead as well. And then I got a factory 55 uh, flat link right there. The uh, added the pro grill didn't come with that. We'll talk a little more about what's under the hood here in a second. Those are the stock headlights. I added these Cali raised fog lights. They're amber, much brighter than the existing OEM fog lights. Up here, probably the first one of the very first mods I did, was definitely the first electrical mod. The ditch lights. These are also from Cali Raised. Pretty easy install. Didn't take too long. They're wired directly to the battery. And they got a little button inside. Also, one of the first mods was the Prinsu cab rack. And the thing has been awesome. I've just I've hooked so much so much to it. I've gone through a bunch of different configurations. The way it is now is I got two of these 95 liter Rome Adventure hard cases, we would call or Rome cases, and they're zip tied. So I didn't want to drill holes into the case. I drilled holes in my Plano case when I put it up here, but this time there's a bunch of little gaps up here and holes that are already built in to the to the Rome case. And so I use these really strong cable ties all the way around. There are two on this side, two on the back. There's also a ratchet strap or um, I actually got a cinch strap, well, it's not ratchet, but it goes all the way underneath that holds it down as well. So it's held down by zip ties and one strap. I've also got my high left jack up there right in the center. That's mounted with an RCI high lift jack mount. And then over here, I got the 23-0, uh, let's see, this is the 23-0-270, I think uh, awning, it's, it's a freestanding awning. I'm gonna do a separate video just about that awning. And then another road case over here. All right, more armor. These are the Victory rock sliders. It also doubles a step. I like them. 
I, I probably, if I do it again, might go with the ones that are a little bit cleaner, a little bit more flush to the side or to the, uh, the rocker panel. One thing I'd be disappointed about with the Victory is the durability of the powder coating. Uh, I've, these things aren't even two years old right now and I've already probably had to spray paint them twice with some Rust-Oleum. This, well, a lot of the, this has all come off here and I've had to sand it down and then spray paint it. So a lot of the powder coatings were flaking off. The stock Tacoma lettering here is chrome. So I took that off and put the flat black one on. I think that looks a lot nicer side view mirrors or this side uh, the turn signals here these are another upgrade uh, they're smoked and they're sequential so they look a lot nicer the the other ones were were clear of some chrome okay back here I've done separate videos on these but I've got the deck drawers and the RCI bed rack and all kinds of stuff in the deck drawers. Right here, these are the bed stiffeners, which I highly recommend if you're gonna be putting a lot of weight onto your, the sides of your bed, in your bed. And these were from Cali Raised. They're, they're bed, bed stiffeners and they got a bunch of different holes in here so you're able to mount stuff. I got a little trowel right here in case you gotta grab it and run use the bathroom over here I got a knife and then hooked mounted to the bed rack I've got all kinds of stuff and I, again I did a separate video on that but there's a water port tank there's some recovery boards a bunch of carabiners there's a little hatchet there's the uh, Reliance portable toilet over there, I got a uh, Rotopax storage container. There's a fire extinguisher. This is a little trash bag from Blue Ridge Overland. There's a PVC pipe here I got from Lowe's and then spray painted all this part black. This houses my fly rod and a giant umbrella to use with the kids. The first aid kit, Rotopax gas fuel container. Um, this is a mount for my mountain bike here and then up top I've got this is a Yakima uh, not the basket case it's called the the load warrior and mounted to that I have four wolf packs and these I also mounted with zip ties the wolf pack has a little open area right here. So it's like double walled and I was able to drill holes there and there and just run a zip tie through it. And so it's got three to four zip ties holding it down. For the tailgate, I removed the old tailgate and did the mountain hatch tailgate insert. Also, I did a video on that. Highly recommend that insert. Way more usable than the other one. I use this all the time for setting up uh, our little kitchen for cooking. The kids will sit up here. They can put their drinks down without spilling it. I think that's about everything back here, except for the CB antenna. So there's my CB antenna. This CB mount is, um, I believe it's also from Cali Raised. It's also rusting here. Looks like the powder coating is coming off. That's too bad. Have to fix that. Okay, going around here. This is for Miso Custom. This is their gas hole. So you take the gas cap off, it pops right in there so it doesn't dangle and flop around. All right, let's see. I replaced the OEM front skid plate with the RCI front skid. That's a big upgrade. The OEM skid plate is pretty thin and it, mine was 
beat all the hell. Had big holes in it. It's been ripped up. Uh, it was all rusty. This one's gonna be much more durable. Offer a lot more protection. I offer, and I put up, posted a video of how to install that as well. All right, under the hood. First thing you might notice are the hood struts. Tacoma does not come with those, so you gotta install them yourself. And these are the Spiker Engineering hood struts. That was a pretty easy install, just as long as you have a rivet gun. All right, over here, I installed the ARB single compressor. I think it's hot right there. Um, and this mount, I've forgotten who's it's from. I'll have to post it. I'll um, post that on, I think, oh man, I can't scree off-road maybe, but I'll check it out and post that too. And this is just a little waterproof hard case. And in this case, it's held on by zip ties to the, the fuse box. And inside I've got everything for um, the ARB compressor. So everything to air up, air down my tires and all the, the controllers for the winch. And you can see the winch there. So another mod I did front is right there, right there. That's the Ford camera. It's pretty handy for parking. Sometimes use it for off-roading as well. So another thing I did here is added a third rail. The 2019 Tacoma only comes of two. And the bed rail here and the bed rail on this side. And so I installed a third one there. And I used to have the high lift jack mounted there, but I needed more bed space. So that's why I moved it on top of the cab. Once I get a, a steel bumper, I'll mount the high lift jack to the bumper. All right, here we are underneath the truck. Now, the stock Tacoma, the exhaust comes over here, runs around the transfer case, and then comes down under the transfer case and then back out. And so because it does that, it's the lowest point in the truck. And from for me, mine was already probably smooshed to about half its normal width from hitting rocks. So I paid a local shop, I think it was like 70 bucks to reroute it. And so you can tell it's all high now. So it's rerouted up here. And so the exhaust is out of the way, tucked up high and um, better protected from rocks. Now, normally the stock Tacoma exhaust comes down and is behind the rear passenger side tire. And it's also a low point. And mine was also banged up a little bit. So what I did was to clean that up was I just took a saw and hacked it off right there. So it's not the lowest point in the back anymore. You can see where it comes out just above the rear differential. All right, that wraps up the exterior rig walkthrough. I'm also gonna post an interior walkthrough here along with this one, hopefully. So check that one out, hit the subscribe button. I got a bunch of videos coming. Also in the descriptions, you'll see links to some of the products, some of the mods, um, also in the comments. Let me know what you think I should do about the suspension on the truck. There's so many different ways to go. All right, tune in.